slow poker. I have a career and a family, but also play poker, which doesn't leave me much time. So let's get to it. Is it impossible to catch me? The answer is the second syllable of the last name of the highest earning live tournament player. But will you catch me if you're unwilling to put in the work? See clue number one. Some of you are doing some impressive detective work. Others, however, keep complaining that this is too difficult. But the clues are there. Time and time again I've revealed where I've been and where I'm going. And several dozen people from the tables can identify me. So you have the tools. But feel free to keep assuming that because I can take any mode of transportation that I could be anywhere. That this road could be anywhere in the country. Or that this road could be anywhere in the country. Against my better judgment, here's another clue for the laziest of bounty hunters. Look where I am and what I'm riding. I'm not in Pittsburgh. Did I spell out that clue enough for you? If not, maybe step aside and leave this challenge to the real bounty hunters. Because if I lose, I'd rather lose to someone who earns it. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to shower. And I don't mind revealing the complex, top secret reason why. I smell like a horse. It's at this two-week mark that I kinda start pushing my luck. Despite several bounty hunters having figured out that I was just in LA, I still tweet this screenshot from this exact timestamp in the film 7. California, stay away from here. Stay away from here now. Don't, don't, don't come in here. Namely, I was just in California, and now I'm fleeing the state, and don't want any Cali bounty hunters following me to the next state over. And then, before playing at that location, I tweet this. It's an unmistakable image from the show Mystery Science Theater 3000, oft abbreviated as MST3K, a clue that I'm in Mountain Standard Time. While this doesn't tell you exactly where I'll be playing, because it wouldn't be much of a contest if I did, you trolls do understand that, right? It does narrow down the options to the small handful of MST poker rooms within striking distance of California. And now that I keep dishing out more and more clues of both my identity and and where I'm playing next, what am I gonna do? There's only one thing a man can do when he's suffering from a spiritual and existential funk. Go to the zoo, flip off the monkeys? No, buy new suits. Yay! Here I am at the Salvation Army. This is my usual process. Got all this gear that I wore in my last session. Donate this, get something in return for the next session. Here we got the hat section, all kinds of hats, but none better than this one. Oh yeah. That fits fantastic. Regarding the horse, confession time. This is not a misdirect, nor is it CGI. I am in Arizona. I am riding a horse. And I do smell like horse shit. But don't like hold it back. Howdy. Alright, session number eight. Here we go. Good luck us. I am runner. And today, I play poker. Nothing too special in this game. Except for this hand. And if that isn't a clue that I'm older than Rampage, bounty hunting may not be your strongest suit. I took down a few small pots, including some dead money when I raised preflop with the SH. On that note, I keep dropping hand nickname clues but don't know whether you're solving them. I'd like to find out. How about this? In past videos I called the three deuce the BW and the EJ. First one who DMs me why gets to ask me a question and I'll DM back with the answer, and then reveal it to everyone later on. Same rules as last time. Oh and one more thing, I did three x-rays cut off with the bears, and the five seat short stack jammed nine bigs with ace jack, and I still regret not calling it off as vengeance for his bad gutshot chase in our first hand together because we all know the bears were ahead. Maybe not mathematically. But in our hearts? Seat 5 was stone dead. Speaking of equity, on day 15, who has more of it? You or me? I'll be honest, I feel like I've got aces, but I'm still worried that one of you has a 2082 outer left in the tank. The question is, who? Clue Rundown. When I say I am Runner, that's a Guardians of the Galaxy reference to I am Groot, because I was playing at Talking Stick, and Groot is a talking stick. I am Groot! 
I say nothing too special as I show 38, a reference to the old school band 38 Special, which is not only another age range clue, but an identity clue, since I make it clear in slow poker episodes and social media and beyond that I'm a Jacksonville man. Go Jags. And 38 Special is a Jacksonville band. Born and raised. SH is my most obvious identity clue for any real slow poker fan, who of course knows that 6'5 suited will forever be the Skylar Hawker. Okay, Skylar, we don't have much time. These videos move fast. So, congratulations. Your t-shirt will arrive in the mail today. But most importantly, why 6'5 suited? How did you get there? What was your process? The world needs to know. Uh, and we're out of time. Skylar Hawker. What a treat. These color filters are location clues. Purple and orange, Phoenix Suns. Shout out to Pokerface Ash. As for the three deuce riddle, here's what goes down. Long story short, 32 was the jersey number of Celtics great Bill Walton and Lakers great Irvin Magic Johnson. And those poker sessions were in Boston and LA. And get this, it's revealed later that this riddle solver is the very same cat tax plan who secured the Texaco security footage. And he deliberately asks a worthless question because he doesn't want anyone else to gain an edge over him. Presented with a golden opportunity, he melts the gold. And much like when he kept the Texaco footage to himself. This one bounty hunter yet again tosses me a life preserver. If I win this thing, it'll be partly thanks to him. Come to think of it, if I end up going to the Bahamas, he should be my plus one. The f well, it may be that I've handed out one too many clues because one bounty hunter leaves a voicemail by way of the calling card QR code. Hello, John. It's Rooney. I know who you are now thanks to the Disney princess clue. Unfortunately, though, because of work, I can't hunt you down. But I have bounty hunters in San Diego, Denver, and Phoenix, and Las Vegas, if you choose to go there. See you soon. Given my name is John, and given I'm currently in a spot near San Diego where I'm about to play next, color me terrified. Sure feels like I've finally flown too close to the clue sun. But you know what? I'm a poker player. I can feign lack of concern. Word on the bounty hunter streets is that I've been discovered. Apparently my name could be, including but not limited to, Tiffany, Brad, Laura, Tim, Ben, Johnny, Sarah, Ethan, or Cinderella. And that tomorrow I'll be here. So it seems that you finally connected the dots and all you need to do is bring your forensic sketches to every last card room in the country and you're made in the shade. Or the other possibility, which is that you don't know Jack. Of course, there is always a chance you do know who I am and exactly where I'm playing next. But if so, I'd eat my hat. I'd rather not though. It's my favorite hat. And not for any particular reason. I'm sure that worked. Yeah, I'm totally not petrified that I'm about to get caught. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just... Since that voicemail still has me spooked, that various bounty hunters know who I am and are headed where I'm headed, I make a decision. Unlike the first 16 days where I was hiding in plain sight looking like me, today's the day I bring out the big super spy guns. And by that I mean a really bad wig. Good luck finding me now. And then there was one. Halfway through my penultimate poker session I got into a bit of hot water with the floor when they asked me to stop filming, but fortunately I captured just enough footage. After getting dealt the Kessler Questler for the first two hands and twice falling short, it was just a matter of biding my time for better cards. And my patience paid off. I folded this beauty preflop in my very first session of this quest, but decided then that I would not make that mistake again. It was a splash pot and facing two limps, I raised 8x from the small blind and got called by the big blind and both limpers. As luck would have it, the flop was ace-king-8, and a half-pot c-bet was all it took to get the triple fold. What can I say? I had a blocker. Speaking of victories, if my math is right, I've got 9 notches on my belt, with 1 notch to go. There's no telling how the rest of this escapade will play out. But whether I notch the notch, or botch the notch, no matter what, I'll need a scotch. And if I see any of you bounty hunters at my last stop, whether I preserve the platinum pass, or relinquish it to one of you, let's raise a glass together. Not that I expect to see too many bounty hunters at Four Bears Casino in North Dakota. But you never know. P.S. I won't be there. P.P.S. That's the truth and not misdirection. P.P.P.S. It's still unclear why I keep helping you people.
The most consequential clue here is that I say hot water because the casino is agua caliente. You know I don't speak Spanish. Of even greater potential consequence, first thing in the morning, I change my one Twitter follow to Reem, a company synonymous with water heaters. If anyone connects these dots, they know exactly where I'm headed. And to make matters worse for me, agua caliente only has one table running and no open seats for two hours. So all anyone has to do is crack the hot water Twitter clue, head to this room or send a friend there and ask a small handful of people for their take on rabbit hunting. Sure, that may sound like fish in a barrel, but lest you forget, I am wearing a terrible wig. On my last travel day before the grand finale, I've decided to take a moment of introspection by this body of water. It could be an ocean, or a lake, or a river, or a hotel hot tub, or a large bucket of disappointed bounty hunter tears. I won't be telling you. A runner's heart is a deep something of secrets. So mums the word. According to this article, written by someone who almost definitely isn't me, throughout this challenge I've been showing far too much leg. And I think that's spot on. So today, all you get is a sliver of me. As for tomorrow, does anyone know where I'll play? Because I don't. How about you tell me where I should go and we'll meet there. Sound good? Just after midnight? It's a deal. I love it when a plan comes together. I pretty much only leave one small clue here with the line from Titanic. A runner's heart is a deep something of secrets. Given I referenced that film far too much in all my poker content and, okay fine, to my wife and kids every 10 minutes. Also because I'm in Venice Beach and right behind me is this boutique. You can be blasé about some things Rose but not about Titanic. This fire is at my favorite Venetian restaurant and is less a clue than it is a representation of my state of mind as the heat feels like it's very, very on. Many bounty hunters assume that tomorrow I'll end up at the win since every poker player and their poker playing mother is there for the WPT championship. And if they're right, that's bad news for me. But are they right? Let's find out. This is it, the home stretch. It turns out that Cat Tax Plan inexplicably waits until the final day to show the Texaco footage to a few more people. And that may be my last minute undoing. I get a call from Matt Waxman. He tells me about a contest ending in the next 24 hours in Las Vegas and the winner gets $30,000. Background of a gas station, Matt, and recognize he goes to the gas station, asks for security camera footage and get video of the guy's face, but he doesn't recognize him. So at this point, the challenge is ending in 24 hours and Matt, despite despite having the footage of this guy's face for three weeks, has not been able to identify him. So he has no choice but to trust other people and ask if they can help identify him. And that's where we come in. We're gonna give away 30K platinum pass to their Bahamas tournament, but you gotta find the guy. And Matt Waxman has done a load of investigating. We found him. Oh my God, this is the guy coming into the pump. Who is that? Who is this guy? We're gonna hunt this mother We've been here for an hour and this guy's just telling us all this as soon as I see his face, I'm like, that's slow poker. Anyway, we think it's slow poker now. Show me we all the footage you have. Poker. Show me the footage you oh, have. I got it, bro. Here it is. I mean, this is our guy. Slow motion, slow poker. So it makes so much sense. We think based on the photos, it's slow poker. He's following the company Reem. Matt thinks that means Chino Reem, which therefore means the Bellagio. Two WPT champions ships at the Bellagio. Dude, you're so obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with it. You dreamed of it twice. Don't put that in the vlog. <laughs> All right, let's go to Bellagio. Slowpoke, where are you at, you f It's 3 a.m. We went Bellagio Resort, Win Venetian, Caesars. I just wanted to crack the Bellagio Valley. We made the money, but now it's time to, to execute the threat on so Slow Poker. We're gonna tweet out if anybody's seen him. We just had Ryan send out a tweet asking if anyone's run into Slow Poker. We gotta find this guy and take 30K off his family's table let's go on second thought the heat's probably not too on as i make my way to a desert metropolis known for sin which may be my toughest clue yet i get the sense that most bounty hunters know exactly where i'm headed but as long as my identity remains a mystery i'm confident that i'll make it to midnight unscathed and that confidence promptly dies when five hours before the finish line i receive this text the TLDR is that YouTuber Ryan DePaulo has uncovered my identity and that he and his accomplices will hunt me down. This is terrifying news, because Ryan is smart, has resources, and worst of all, is relentless. So I could be drawing thin. In the end, I decide that my best counter is to go into deep cover. And no deeper cover than an old man coffee. After suiting up, I shuffle into the lion's den, fully committing to the role by logging a VPIP of exactly 
As I slowly fold every last pair of whole cards, I pray that nobody notices that I'm a middle-aged wolf in elderly sheep's clothing. But nobody seems to notice that I'm even at the table. So after cashing out, I exit this casino and drive at an appropriately old man coffee speed to another one. More specifically, the eye of the poker storm, the wind. And here, yet again, everyone seems to look past this Buick who couldn't possibly be the runner. I pretend to play some slots, call in and put my name on every single wait list, and then loiter in the poker room for a good while, and by some miracle avoid detection. And at the stroke of midnight, it's finally over. At long last, after 3 weeks and 7000 miles. I have won the Platinum Pass. I can finally make eye contact with people. I can stop lying, stop hiding, stop running. Which means there's only one thing left to do. Play some poker. So despite all the clues revealing who I am, where I was, and where I was going, by some miracle, I win the Platinum Pass, and I'm headed to the Bahamas. And that's fun, though not nearly as fun as a suitcase full of wigs for the whole family to enjoy. And that'll do it for episode 20 of Slow Poker. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and pray for my lower back, because after 7,000 miles on the road, there's not a massage in the Caribbean that'll help me stop walking like this. Until next time, this has been Slow Poker. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Our fugitive has been on the run for 90 minutes. Go get him. Waxman, right. he's here. He's here, Matthew. That gas station shit is creepy. Well done. This whole contest was clickbait, a scam, literally impossible to win, you wore an uncrackable disguise, and you're a scumbag clown. Wow. Are there butts out there that got hurt when they couldn't win a contest? You know, there's ointment for that. Okay, let me help. First, look up the definitions of clickbait, scam, literally, and impossible. You don't understand those words. This is clickbait. If this was a scam to hand me a platinum pass, it would be cheaper, easier, and less conspicuous to just hand it to me. You're conflating impossible with I'm too lazy to look for clues, and maybe if I whine enough, the Platinum Pass will just get slid under my pillow by the Platinum Pass Fairy. As for literally, just figure that out on your own time. And even though playing old man dress up was clearly within the rules, I only did it after my cover was blown. Imagine you're me, armed with that knowledge. You're just showing up as yourself? Maybe wearing an I'm slow poker and also the runner t-shirt? As for the complexity of my disguise, that is fair. Plastic surgery was overkill. Wait, what? I only wore a cheap wig and walked kinda slow? Well, in that case, if you really thought this 40-something was a 90-something shuffling through two casinos for three hours, well, then I suggest you avoid Halloween, because that three-foot ghost asking for Twizzlers is not a real ghost. She's a toddler wearing a sheet. And finally, well, I am a scumbag and a clown. You did get that right. Ooh, deft wordplay. Will you come write the comedy for me? Have you guys seen this runner runner contest Amazing. that PokerDoc.org is doing? What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to just go to random poker rooms in the middle of nowhere? Well, this looks awesome. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to try to find the runner. I am. Uh, good. <laughs> you should. He seems to have stumbled upon what he believes to be the runner runner. I actually know who the runner runner is. <laughs> Conrad's about to become a bounty hunter, <laughs> giving us updates across the nation as he's grinding 1 3 from sh hole to sh hole. <laughs> it would be so great if, like, every day poker.org is posting these update videos, I, and then every day and we're then, posting updates Conrad, Conrad videos. Day, but then we get the Conrad, and it's like, <laughs> yo, what up? We popping out here. You know? What's popping, everyone? <laughs> Damn. Who, who did you think? Um, I thought it was, I thought it was Trooper. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally looking at flights right now because I think I know where he is. I, oh. the this runner, runner is so lucky. This ends on the 16th because I was like, I was drawing out the plan. I was, I was ready. I know where he is tonight. I think. I think there's a good chance <laughs> well, I know. I
Conrad is f***ing hot this morning, man. He he's he thinks he's on the runner's tail. No, oh, relax. What are you doing? He's, we're, we're like, how sure are you, Conrad? He goes, 100%. You were doing a little drinking last night, or you've actually just lost your mind attempting to catch the runner? What is that? Well, you left some sort of like demonic voicemail for the runner that now the entire world has heard. Dear runner, 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 runner. Dear runner, 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 Johnny Boy. Well, I, I mean, listen, the real reason why I'm, I'm reaching out, you know, because I heard you want to marry me. Like, we can meet at the altar. You just tell me where the altar is. But the only thing is, we got to do this before, I mean, let's say tomorrow. I'll even bring Landon. You can S. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great day, runner. I'll see you soon. Dude, I tried to call you. You won't believe who I'm here with. This is the runner. Like, it's not a joke. This is let's really... Let's get <laughs> Let's get married. Is it too late? You don't want to get married anymore, do you? So, unfortunately, it's past midnight, so I guess the contest is, is over. It's over. But this is legitimately the real runner. Slow poker himself. Sorry, so, Conrad. Sorry you missed out, buddy. Better luck next time. <laughs> I'm just amazed people like Marley, obviously, uh, and Greg, and Caitlin, and whoever makes... Uh, and Slow Poker has made some really good videos as well recently. Uh, uh, like the one at the piano talking about the, the uh, this, this song. We, we Touch, touchy subject, yeah, Conrad. We don't talk <laughs> about Slow Poker on this podcast. Oh, right. uh, okay, uh, uh, right. <laughs> lots of great content, but... I, I have I have some questions before questions. before I turn uh, my counsel on you, who's <laughs> very upset. So I, I won, and I like whipped off the wig and was just relieved. But to be completely underground for three weeks is extremely like sad and lonely Bro, and bet. debilitating it felt like a different person and so i show up i see jamin and i go over to say hi and i almost gave him like the biggest bear hug yeah just like i know you You're the person <laughs> I know. Yeah. but he instead we just put we just sent a video message to conrad sort of uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I hate you all. Well, Definitely, you whoever decided that you should be the runner yeah. should Brad. be commended because that, Brad. yeah, I think it would be a totally different thing. And you did make it like you suck, really but fun. you did a great job. <laughs> no, yeah. Here we go with one of the most relentless bounty hunters. Couldn't find me for three weeks, and now we're. Do you know how many times I've seen you in the past 24 hours? I want to say since I was gone for 19 days on the run, you've seen me 19 times in the Bahamas, right? Why are you just everywhere I turn? I get to the airport, you're there. I get to the hotel, you're there. But like a week ago, two weeks ago, you were you were nowhere to be found. I can't believe you left your costume at home. I know that was on me. This is a this is messed up. It was a pure swing and a miss. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have poker here? Texas poker? Texas poker! Ugh.